Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. We're in the lovely village of Quennington near Sirencester in the Colne Valley and in the heart of the Cotswolds. It's a sunny day, it's a bit windy, hoping it won't be too um, much of a trouble. It's a lovely village, it was thriving in the Middle Ages and it has a very interesting history because in the 12th century the religious military order of the Knights Hospitallers set up um, a preceptory here and they were here for 300 years. I'll tell you more about what they did and they were linked to the, obviously the more famous Knights Templars. Um, it's got a lovely pub that we just walked past, a beautiful river, beautiful church, St Swithin's and some fantastic honeycomb coloured stone cottages. So come with me and I'll take you around the lovely historic village of Quennington. As I say, it is a bit of a windy day. There's also some work being done at the bridge where the river flows, which is a bit of a disappointment because it's quite noisy, so we may not get to film that unless they knock off for lunch and it's all a bit quiet. But yeah, the work needed doing, so it's just one of those things. But it's such a lovely day. I just wanted to film anyway because we've had some terrible weather and now the sun's out, but as I say, there is a bit of wind noise, but it seems to be dropping. So yeah, lovely autumn colours. Beautiful afternoon here in Quinnington. So this building here, that's all that remains above ground of the preceptory that was founded by the Knights Hospitallers in 1193. It's called the Knights Gate. The Knights Hospitallers were the military order of the Hospital of St John at Jerusalem and they were devoted to giving protection and hospitality to pilgrims to the Holy Land. Just come up to the church of St Swithin's, which is, has two ornately carved Norman doorways. So we're going to go and have a look at them. Say so there, there is some work being done here, and see the road's closed. So apologies if we can't go 
and look at the river at the moment, but maybe we can look later on. That's the old rectory, beautiful old building. This is the church. Luckily it's not too noisy at the moment. There is a bit of sun in the way. Huh? Apologies for that. Say, so this is the church of St. Swithens. At one time in its history, it was run and administered by the Knights Templars. So there is that connection with the Knights Hospitallers here. Let's go and have a look. This is a fabulous Norman carved doorway depicting all kinds of religious symbols. I think there's a picture there of a dragon emerging from hell and uh, Christ trying to defeat it or one of the saints. Uh, incredible. So here's the other doorway, just as ornate. What a beautiful church. Here's the River Colne flowing through the village of Quennington. Eventually, it meets the mighty Thames. We've been on a, lo a, long, a lot of um, trips to the Colne Valley this year. I think this is the only village I haven't done that's got the Colne on it. So, um, we've completed the set. Again, apologies for the noise. There's a generator to my left because they're doing some work on this bridge. I think they're strengthening it. It's obviously hundreds of years old, if not thousands. So. It needs some work, but hopefully you're picking this up and it's not too noisy. That's the river, Colin. Absolutely beautiful. Well, as I said, it's very windy. It's been the opposite. Here in the Cotswolds, the last 10 days, it's been dull, quiet, no wind at all, which has kept the anti-cyclonic gloom with us. But now that's gone, the sun's come out, but so has the wind. But uh, 
never fear. That's the river again. An old water wheel there. The water wheel. Two mills existed in Quellington since the Doomsday Survey, playing a vital part in village economy. This wheel was the last working water wheel on the site of the corn mill. It was installed and made by W. Savory and Sons of Gloucester in the 1870s. Here we are again, the Knight's Gate. All that remains of the Knight's Hospitaller's Preceptory. I think I'm saying it right. I'll make sure I spell it correctly. The Knight's Gate. The wind's dropped a little bit, so I'm glad I tried to film. Let's keep going and look around this village. And this is where the River Colness flooded. Not quite as bad now as it was, 
but a few weeks ago we had a lot of heavy rain this was totally underwater the river's just beyond there and this is the water that's still left yet to drain yes it's a problem for people who live in the Colne Valley but uh, hopefully it's receding and uh, everyone's okay the wind's getting up again sorry What a beautiful place. River again, just outside the village. Again, apologies, it's so windy. But yeah, what a beautiful sight. If I just pan round, here's another view of the river on the other side. So we're back at the Keeper's Arms pub and if it's open we'll pop in and end our journey here where we started. This pub was famous in 2015 it won a TV series called Four in a Bed and uh, yeah it won the whole thing so it's become very famous for that but obviously it's been here a long time before. So thank you for watching, thank you for putting up with the wind noise. If you like this video, please share, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I will see you again in another Cotswold village very soon. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye bye.